Hi YouTube, this is Christian Brindle, Medicare Health Plan Expert and Specialist. Hope this video finds you doing well. Located about 20 minutes outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. We work with people in 12 states on their Medicare health plans. We represent a myriad of different insurance companies, so we have a lot of experience with Medicare supplements. And I thought that we would be able to kind of break down Medicare supplements for you in a way in this video today about the good and the bad of a certain Medicare supplement that seems to be getting a lot of... Um, mixed reactions from different people in the industry and also different consumers. So let's talk about Plan N. What is the good and what is the bad? What do you need to know about it? Let's take a look at an objective perspective of a Plan N here today. So a Plan N, the idea behind it is it's a very comparable plan to a Plan G. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I'm talking about a Medicare supplement plan. Medicare supplements basically come through and pay the 20% of medical bills that Medicare leaves behind. When you get onto Medicare, you get a Medicare card that looks somewhat like this. And you get Medicare Parts A and Medicare Parts B. Medicare Parts A and B work like two pieces of a puzzle that fit together to give you medical coverage. Medicare Part A covers the hospitalization side of things. Medicare Part B covers the medical side of things. And so on and so on. So... But they don't pay 100%. They pay 80% of that bill, leave 20% behind for you to pay. So a Medicare supplement is a program, a secondary insurance, through a private insurance company that comes in and fills in the gaps of Medicare Parts A and B. Now, they have different supplement plans that will pay different percentages of what Medicare leaves behind. Some will pay a lot, some will not pay a lot. So it kind of just depends on that particular plan that you select. Now, the two most popular plans we have today, as I speak to you about this, are plans G and N. Plan G has a one-time-a-year deductible it does not pay for at the time of recording this video of $198, but it's subject to change every year. That's what's known as the Medicare Part B deductible. And that's all that you pay, one time a year, not per usage, but one time per year. The plan N, on the other hand, has a $198 deductible one time a year as well. It also doesn't cover that Medicare Part B deductible. But the Plan N also doesn't um, pay for two different copays that are charged to you. The first one is an up to $20 doctor copay. It could be less depending on the doctor visit, but it's per visit. The second one is a $50 emergency room copay. The other thing that the Plan N does not pay for is what's known as the Medicare Part B excess charges. Now, the Medicare Part B excess charges are basically like if the doctor wants to tack on anything additional to what, you're, what, what they charge you, and um, you don't see it charged very often. In fact, I don't know if I've ever can recall seeing that charge actually charged. So, in essence, the main things you need to worry about is that Medicare Part B deductible, the up to $20 doctor copay, and the $50 emergency room copay. Now, what's the, uh, why would someone pick up a Plan N over a Plan G when the Plan G has clearly better coverage? Well, the main reason is because the Plan N is two reasons. There's two arguments for a Plan N. The first one is typically the prices are going to be lower. Now, this can vary depending on what market and what state you're watching this from. It can be maybe $20 lower in some areas. It could be up to $50 or $60 lower in other areas per month. So, in essence... What you need to be looking at is you 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 primarily need to understand that you're saving a little bit of money every month, but you're not having as good a medical coverage. But it can be greater in some areas than others. Now, that being said, one thing we have to take into consideration is quite simply that the plan N will typically go up in price slower is what we're, is what statistics show over a 10-year period than a Plan G will. Medicare supplements always raise your price as you get older. They all do it, and there's no way around it. And they do it for a myriad of different reasons, but it's a topic for another video. But the Plan N, statistically speaking, does not go up in price quite as fast as a Plan G would. Now, does is that the case with every insurance company? No. Sometimes insurance companies will raise the rates on a plan G and an N exactly the same. We've seen numbers on this. Sometimes it's closer than you might think. It kind of just depends on the insurance company, in my opinion, more than the particular plan itself. Now, that being said, one thing you have to keep in mind and take into consideration is, is that $20, $30, $40, $50 a month savings in premium on a plan N worth it 
if you were going to the doctor all the time? And the answer to that is no. I have clients of mine that have, you know, a doctor visit or two every week. And that $20 doctor copay per visit would absolutely devastate them. Now, you might be healthy. The, the main thing is looking into a crystal ball and seeing what you, where you'll be in the next five years, in the next 10 years. Because as many of you know, if you're going to change your Medicare supplement plan, typically in most situations, you have to be able to pass health questions and be able to go through underwriting in order to qualify to change to another company. So it's not always as simple as saying as if my health deteriorates, will I be able to change to a plan G later if I need a better coverage? You might be able to, but if you have enough health problems, you might be stuck on that particular plan with the plan N, and that could be devastating for a lot of people. So there's two arguments to be had with it. I believe that personally, if it was me, I'd rather be on a G than an N because there's more you know what you get. With a plan N, if you see a doctor four or five times a month, you're probably looking at about eighty to hundred dollars a month in copays, which equivalents to about over a thousand dollars a year in medical copays just for doctor visits. If you have one or two um, emergency room visits, that's fifty dollars a whack in there as well. There's more unknown with the plan N. Um, it's very popular. We can do it for people. We can also do the plan G, but that's just my perspective on the two plans. Anyway, folks, um, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Drop a like on the video, comment on what you'd like to see me talk about on future videos, and subscribe for future insurance and Medicare-based information. Have a great day. Take care.